Hi, I'm Johnny, and I am back with your word of the week to help you be remarkable this week. So the word for this week is a very common word you're very familiar with, and the word is happiness. And you immediately say, of course, happiness. And Johnny, as soon as I am remarkable, as soon as I am successful, I am going to be so happy. And happiness can be my word of the week. But you see, in a book by Sean Acor that I read recently called The Happiness Advantage, Sean talks about that at one time, before Galileo, we all believed that the sun revolved around the earth, and the earth was the center. If you get the earth right, you get the sun right. But now we all know that it's just the opposite that the sun is at the center and that the earth revolves around the sun. It is not that happiness will revolve around our success. It's that once we achieve happiness, then success will revolve around us. So we first have to master happiness and then we can master success. So you say, okay, I'm in, but how in the world can I be happy? I, I think that right now, a lot, around a lot of circles that I attend, we're sort of going through what I would call a gratitude revolution, learning to be grateful for things we one time took advantage of or took for granted. And I think that is part of this happiness advantage that Acor talks about. So we have to find ourselves grateful every day, to start our day off grateful. So Acor in his books recommends a practice that I just implemented in a class that I teach with my husband on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And in our class, we challenged our students to begin the day every morning writing down three things that they're grateful for and not just the same things every day. Oh, my friends, family, family and faith, my friends, family and faith. No, no. We want to know three unique things that came to your mind this morning that maybe not everybody is grateful for. They might even complain about, but how can you be grateful for this thing? So this morning, whenever I woke up taking my own challenge that I gave to my students, I thought of, you know, my daughter in love right now is at the end of a pregnancy that she's not just crazy about. And it makes me remember my own pregnancies. It was the least favorite part of my time on earth. And, but I thought about that this morning and I thought, you know, Lord, I am. I am grateful that you chose pregnancy to populate the earth. I'm grateful for that. Because as I look back on it, and as just a terrible pregnant person as I was, I remember that that was the one time in my life that, as Carl Sandburg said, I got to work with God to create a miracle. So I took some moments this morning to go back over that and to just be grateful that pregnancy is the way we populate the earth. The second thing I was grateful for this morning was big visions, because I have a lot of friends right now who are trying to do impossible, crazy things out in the world. And man, it really motivates me to think that the few little things that I'm trying to do are just so possible. Um, I, I read, um, I think it was Darren Hardy just recently, um, who, who said that just remember whenever you're trying to do something impossible, that the Wright brothers did not have a pilot's license when they threw, flew their first plane. So what may seem impossible to you is just that it hasn't been done yet. But just wait. You be the first and then others will follow. So I'm very grateful for big dreams and big visions. I'm grateful for that. The third thing I was grateful for this morning was systematic Bible study. I have just spent several weeks studying the three chapters of the book of John um, through going through a book called The Sacred Slow by Alicia Britt Choley. And I was so grateful that she just walked me through very slowly how to read over and study those books, those chapters of that book over and over again to really internalize that message. And I was so grateful for that. So I was grateful for Christian authors that inspire me. So think about what are three things that you're grateful for? 
The other thing in the happiness advantage that I've been thinking about lately to make myself happier is exercise. He talks about the benefit of just like a daily walk outside, just taking just 10 minutes to walk and observe nature and just kind of refuel yourself. And it just makes me remember whenever I was being much more active than I am now and I was running on a regular basis, all about being so happy during that time. And it reminds me that one of the things that made me so happy during that time was music. And he does allude to that a couple of times in the book and, and other things that we've read about being happy is finding your song, your music, your style, and playing that on your headphones or at the beginning of a business conference to set the tone for let's get happy so that we can get successful. So today, find your happy. Find what you can do to make yourself grateful, to get a little exercise, to set the mood for your happiness so that your success can begin to revolve around your happiness and you can have a remarkable week. Don't forget to follow us and subscribe and leave your comments below. We'd love to hear how this week you are remarkably happy. Thanks.